this is a lot of fun. A little bit noisy maybe compared to what I'm used to, but being in the same position basically and rowing by pushing the machine away from me rather than me going backwards really does transform the rowing stroke and feels fantastic. Right, less of the advert. <laughs> so what is this? This is the RP3 Model T, okay? Uh, and I've got it on loan really just to make a video about it. So it's really nice of the RP3 people to send me one. It's not mine, I've got to send it back. So this isn't a review based on <laughs> them giving me a free machine, just a chance to use one. Thought I'd better get that one out of the way. So what makes it different? Well, hopefully you can see that it's about pushing the machine away from you. And that really is the biggest thing with this because it's transformative when it comes to your stroke. And this is why I think if you get a chance to ever use one of these, you really should, especially if you're the kind of person who kind of struggles a little bit with the concept of pushing with your feet in the stroke and think that it's all about yanking with the handle. This machine, <laughs> literally within, 10 strokes, maybe but not even that, of rowing on it, you, you realize that you have to make it all about leg power. Because if you haven't understood that yet, that's the point of the rowing stroke, okay? These big, huge legs that you've got, that's where the power comes from, that you push into the machine and then you finish with your arms. But a static rowing machine, it's easier just to kind of think about pulling on the handle and sending yourself backwards rather than pushing into the machine. So from an ergo point of view, from a rowing machine point of view, this really does kind of iron out a lot of technique issues. And then of course, when it comes to applying this technique into a boat for real rowing, who does that? <laughs> it really is amazing as a way to get your technique better. There's so much about this that is the same as rowing on a boat, okay? So I'm not saying from the demonstration that I put right at the very beginning of this video that I was rowing anything like anybody would in a boat, I would drown, <laughs> which is why I go nowhere near the water. Um, but if you're looking to become a better on the water rower, then this really is a fantastic machine to look at, all right? So anyway, this is my opening blurb uh, about it. Let's just go into a couple of um, kind of details about it, okay? So I'll get back in and I'll, I'll start rowing. So like I said in the intro, whoop, like I said in the intro, the one thing about it is that it is loud, okay? So if I crack into it, I actually have to talk above the noise of the fan, okay? So compared to other static ergs, you will notice a change in volume when you're rowing on this, okay? But really, that's the only negative that I can say about this. Well, actually, there's, there's another one, <laughs> well, actually. It's really long. <laughs> I had to completely kind of tidy up my studio to film this because it's that much longer. I can actually, in this room, I can stand other machines up on their end for storage and push them to the side. This one's a good kind of like eight to 10 inches longer. So do factor that in if ever you're kind of looking into uh, one of these. So that's really the only negatives that I could have about this, okay? It's just that it's a little bit loud and it's a little bit long. But apart from that, it's amazing. Now the monitor that comes with the machine isn't particularly big, but for such a small screen, it does pack in a whole bunch of information. And there's not a whole bunch of buttons to learn either. You've just got one big knob, which you push to set the distance and time, or turn it to the side to show the force curve. And the force curve, actually, instead of just showing you one curve, shows you your previous stroke as well, so you can see how you're improving from stroke to stroke. However, this one came with an Amazon tablet, which clips on in front of the stock monitor and really does expand the metrics that you can see while you're rowing. The app isn't just for Android though, you can get an iOS version and it will let you create your own training session and jump back to some of your history. The screen itself shows you very much the same as the small monitor just combined on one screen, showing you that force curve with the overlay of stroke to stroke so you can see your improvements. And if you don't like the small size of the stock monitor, this can just be as big as the screen you're using it with. Uh, just to quickly just show you, it can move as a wee or can row as a standard, as a little lock at the front of it in case you're thinking, hang on, uh, maybe I want to do fixed or growing. Whoop, there we get in. So there's a little lock at the front and then you can just turn it into a standard rowing machine. Although suddenly my, <laughs> it changes my connection to the front slightly because I'm not used to it. You can see my hands are slipping a bit at the front, 
So I much prefer, shush, I much prefer rowing on this in its dynamic mode. You just have to watch because it does slide back and forwards a bit. I've hit, hit it off my knee once, or off my shin, sorry, once, just by forgetting that it was about to come back at me. But that feeling of coming forwards and then pushing with the legs, it really is something to behold when you're on this machine. There just is no thought to pulling with the handle for the stroke at all. It's all legs and then finish with the arms. So, like I said, I really do suggest if you get a chance to go on something like this uh, and try it out, you've just, it'll, uh, you'll be amazed what it's like to suddenly go, oh my, yeah, this is, this is it, this is it, this is how you push with your legs. So I've said in the past, I've had this for about three weeks now, um, and I've spent a lot of time on this as a way to try and tune up my technique uh, to try and get into that feeling of pushing with the legs rather than that kind of early backswing and things. So that's really what I love about this machine is from that kind of technique point of view. It's a lot of fun to row on. Um, Data-wise, I kind of found the splits when I was kind of going up to a sprint trying to row fast. I was maybe two or three seconds faster than I might be on uh, another rowing machine. But that doesn't matter. As long as you compare yourself to yourself on this machine, <laughs> I mean, it's apples and oranges. So as long as you're comparing your 2K time on this to somebody else's 2K time on this, it's fine, so you don't have to worry about that from that kind of point of view. And so I have been really happy over the past few weeks using this to tighten up my technique. I will be sorry to see it go, but I just can't justify having another rowing machine in the house, all right? So if this has piqued your interest, do check out RP3. They do a fantastic hire deal, which you can then choose to buy at the end of it, okay? And no matter what, if you get a chance to jump on one of these, you really should, because it will show you so much about your own technique and hopefully make you a better rower, all right? Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you in a future one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.